What are you doing today? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm alright. I'm a little some, tired, but... Have you had some good food in Charlotte? No. No? <laughs> I haven't. I was really tired. I had a fruit salad and I had an energy bar. The last night I was so tired I just mm -hmm. went back to the hotel and drank some sparkling water and fell asleep. Very, Very nice. exciting, but tonight I will. So. Okay. If you guys have any like good food recommendations, make sure you go to her yeah. line and get the food recs. Yeah, you know, I love she's it. She's got one. What is it? What is it? Bernadins? Bernadins. Okay. All right. Put it on. All right. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. I gotta go to a specifically Charlotte place. I know you guys have great food here. Yeah, I was bummed, but I was just really. Our, Plane was kind of delayed, and so that's why. I, I usually, we always go to really great restaurants. So, yeah. so I have to ask, like, how long have you been voice acting now? Voice acting? Uh, since <laughs> I'm really old. '96 when I moved to Los Angeles. Well, a little bit after I moved there, because I I had a commercial career very busy commercial career for a while and then finally got into TV and film. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess voiceover happened around the same time. What made you like want uh, to get into voice acting? And, you know, it's fun and the money's good. <laughs> you know, uh, and you don't have to memorize anything. And you don't have to put on makeup or, you know, like dress up or, I don't know. It's, it's fun. It's a lot um, now that we can send in auditions. It's it's a lot less time consuming than it used to be because I'd have to go into my agency, which is over the hill in LA. And then like I'd wait with like 25 other actors maybe. Sometimes you'd be there for like three hours waiting to go in and audition for just, you know, one character, maybe two. So it's now, you know, you just email it in. That's really cool. So like, I, I do have to ask, like you've been voice acting for a while now, pretty much my entire life almost. Um, Rub it in, dude. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> anime has like drastically become popular over the years. Like, has like the convention scenes only gotten bigger and bigger and bigger ever since you started doing this? Yeah, I mean, I didn't do conventions for a long time because I was, I mean, for the first couple of years I had a job and then I would, you know, have to call in sick and go shoot something. And eventually I started being on TV and up. They're like, well, no, you're not sick. We don't care. Just do your job and they'd let me go. Um, and I just work a lot, you know, late. Um, and then I quit a day job, like, oh, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've had a day job. But um, but I love my day jobs that I had, so. Um, I did a lot of documentary uh, research and producing for a lot of crime stuff, a lot of medical stuff, so. Um, that was really fun for me. But, um, yeah, anime, I mean, it, yeah, it's definitely bigger, more mainstream, you know, like, if you said Naruto years and years ago, not not everybody would know about it, right? But now it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, my uncle loves it, or my daughter loves it, or whatever, or they love it. Um, yeah, it's it's huge, it's huge. But I did regular animation. The only anime I had done was Naruto. And then I did Boruto, and then I did, um, what's the other anime? Oh, I'm in, I forget the name of it. The character kind of looks like me, um, which is weird. Um, and another one too, and then, yeah, I do a lot of anime, to be honest. When you first booked Naruto, were you expecting it to go for the amount of years that it did? Like, what did oh they God. tell you right away? Like, you're, you got one line, or what? Um, no, I mean, I had the first episode. Like, I auditioned with, like, they called me back in with all the producers and people from Japan and San Francisco from Viz, and um, they gave me a 45-minute workout in there. And then I was like, hey, uh, well, thanks. I hope I get the job. And they're like, you got the job. I was like, why didn't you tell me that? 20 minutes ago. Sweating in here. But um, yeah, so that was exciting. And then, you know, I talked to some geeks that knew what it was. And like a lot of people didn't know. No one in my family. Many of my friends, although some voice actor friends kind of knew about it. Um, and now it seems like, I mean, it's everywhere. It's I see it driving around LA, you know, I'll see people walking by with a backpack on and it usually in an airport, and, you know, it's kind of crazy and the merch is insane, isn't it? Oh my God, there's so much stuff. Um, that's pretty cool.
I like it. Sometimes I want to be like, hey, I, I'm that guy. And if I say it, people are like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean you're that guy? So I generally just keep walking till someone, if they recognize me. How often do you get recognized out in the wild? Is it very often, or do you kind of like that balance of you're behind the screen and here you get recognized, obviously? But well, yeah, here for sure. Yeah. Um, like at, at Walmart, are people like, oh my gosh, it's not so. Yeah, sometimes I don't go to Walmart, but I go to Target. To All right. And um, uh, yeah, I'll be out. Like I was at the lounge, the lounge at an airport, and I saw two younger guys come in. There was a guy between us that we were talking to ordered some food and um, these guys were probably about, I think they were seniors in college. And I, I saw them do the double check, triple check, quadruple check. I was like, ah, they're on to me. But they waited until right before they left and they were like, oh my god. Yeah. Can we get a picture? I was like, sure. I, I have to ask, um, what are some projects you're working on You know now? You know, that you're excited about or some upcoming things that well, really I, get you stoked. I was on Not Dead Yet, but that didn't get picked up, so we're not on that. I'm not on that anymore. Um, what's coming up? Well, I guess they haven't released all the Porto, so I think that's upcoming. I finished it like in November, so I don't know what the holdup is. I, they, I never talk to them about business, you know, and you hear all about this, um, like these extra four episodes I keep reading about, but nobody's ever asked me to do them yet, so... They don't want to say anything because I think they think you're going to ask for more money or something, you know, which there's only so much in anime. It's not like you're negotiating these big, huge. I mean, they are big and huge and worldwide. Like, it's all over. I mean, I, I'm the voice in, I don't know, a lot of countries. Yeah. yeah. Um, in your like, day to day, what are some things that you like doing in your pastime when you're not working? Sitting, not screaming, uh, jumping in the pool, watching horrible crime shows. Um, yeah, I used to read a lot more, but I haven't been doing that lately. Do you like watching, do you like listening to like those true crime podcasts? Not really, no. I, I like, the, my weekends at these things are kind of crazy. Like, I missed the last one. We were in the airport at LAX and those computers were down, so like, by the end of the second day I, mean, I didn't even come I couldn't make it but um, I kind of lay low I used to do a lot of more plays but you know COVID kind of killed a lot of those oh I do I do um, some volunteer performances um, that I've helped raise a whole bunch of money for where I play I used to play Rosie O'Donnell but um, she used to give money to the charity so they're like you can't play her anymore so now I play Danny Bonaducci I think it's kind of fun. It's just stupid. <laughs> I've, always, I've always wondered, you know, you played Naruto as a, as a, ch a kid, I guess, and then obviously yeah. you transitioned or, you know, grows up. Was yeah, no a... one wants to hear my version of Naruto as a baby. Yeah, yeah. They say, have me do it once and they're like, shut up. <laughs> Good lord, stop it. Where's Stephanie Shea? Was there any pressure kind of like having to do more of like an adult version of Naruto? Or are you like, I'll just do the same thing? No, I mean, I had already done a bunch of series and I'd been the lead in Jaker's The Adventures of Piggly Wings for like five years and he's a boy, an Irish kid. Um, I did, I do a lot of boys. I should, I shouldn't say that anymore. I play a lot of boys. I've been corrected on that. <laughs> Maybe not that either. <laughs> <laughs> but, never, uh, never. Yeah, no, I mean... Uh, I was a very busy actor for a while. I was on Shameless, Lab Rats, and Naruto at the same time. So there's only so much you can put in your head because I'd have to memorize lines. They'd revise them constantly. And uh, it's, you know, it's kind of high pressure. Shameless was for sure. I remember going to Shameless at, like, uh, I started at 4.30 a.m. And I did it till noon. I drove uh, uh, over the hill, which took about 40 minutes. Went right into makeup for lab rats. They wrapped me at seven, and I went to do Naruto from like seven thirty till nine thirty at night. So, yeah, you kind of get when you get. I mean, it's a little slow right now, and um, uh, you know, videos are on strike, so we can't audition for any of that stuff uh, right now. But I think they're wrapping it up soon. So. It's only been a couple weeks for that, but I don't audition for a ton of video games. But I've done. 
I don't know, 65 Naruto games, oh, maybe. Man. I didn't even know there were that many Naruto games. Well, me either. I don't yeah. buy them. No. You don't play them either? I can hear my, no! I can hear <laughs> myself be like, Rasengan! 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 Shadow Clone Shadow Clone's like, ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I do not. I bought, like, one mini game, and I tried it, and I was like, this is not fun for me. I'm like, I wish I didn't say it that way. You know what? I'm self-critical. The other people are good. Yeah. I like what they But for me, I'm like, yeah. It's kind of crazy to think. I never really thought of, I just think of, you're Naruto, it's kind of like the top of the pedestal, but it sounds... Way better than the guys before me here. Yeah, I mean, yeah way better than Sean and Chris. If I'm by Sean and Chris, if people mention, I'm like, what show are you on? Uh, which I love to do to them. But it's cool to hear like the work that you had to put in early on. And the, it sounds oh, yeah. Like, it's, it's crazy. Sorry, it's crazy. I also oh. taught voiceover at a college, too for like three years. Wow. So like so two nights a week I would drive to downtown LA and teach in a college. So I had to do that, you know. So it's very work related. And then, you know, it's fun but it's like acting something that you always wanted to do? No, no, I was a poli sci major and I studied math too. Um, and I was gonna be my dad worked for the Department of Defense and he's passed now so I can say it, but um, so I actually got accepted to, I was waiting to go to, um, to be in military intelligence. And so I was waiting to go to language school and I reformed my college improv group. And we performed on Cape Cod and then we took a, a vote and we all stayed together for comedy. We moved to Minnesota for a while and performed there. It was great. Very cool. Yeah. Well, you're an absolute legend, but I do. You, do you want to open it up? Maybe yeah, some fan sure. questions. I think we have about ten-ish minutes left. You, know, yeah. you guys are probably sick of hearing us ramble on. Oh no, uh, no, not at all. <laughs> I'll answer your questions for you. Good at it. This one's a kind of a random question, but are we expecting to see you on Grey's Anatomy ever again? Ah, oh, that ship has sailed. I was on that like four times and then all of a sudden, like after the first year, I was like, what the hell happened to that role? But it didn't matter because I, at one point I was taking blood, then I was a radiologist. You know, it didn't, if you tracked it, it didn't make any sense at all. I was in the free clinic for a while, so I, I would love it. I was on the very beginning of that show. And 